um, to use it to increase the amounts that people give. And uh, this was a test, I think, for the RSPCA that we did. Um, and interestingly, when you embrace those words by signing your name on those words, uh, you give more than if you put your name on those words. Um, so it's really, it really is about identifying with morality when you give to our organisations. Um, it's not a huge amount more, it's about 50 pence on average on a typical gift that you can see there ranges between 13 and 13 and a half pounds. Uh, but that's still a significant increase. And remember, what's hiding in there is the difference between men and women, because men won't be giving you any more or less because of that stuff. Right? So actually, if you look at women, you know, that effect size would be uh, higher again. What else? Well, we've been playing with, with moral identity for a little while now, and we know um, that women are more responsive to moral identity than are men. So one of the next questions becomes then, well, is there some way in which we can increase the amount of giving because we know that women care more about morality than men? And it turns out that the answer to that is yes. Where women are, uh, have a high identity esteem, so in other words, if I feel really great about being a girl, I'm going to give you more than if I have a low identity esteem. In other words, being a girl isn't so important to me. And you can kind of track that uh, when you look at the um, results on from, from this experiment. Uh, again, there's a control group where there's really not much difference in terms of how much people give. But when you prime that female identity, just before you ask for the amount, there's a big difference there in terms of how good people feel uh, and how much they give based on this sort of notion of identity esteem. 